Last August, Taraloka Women's Retreat Centre hosted its biggest event to date, the first ever International Order Mitra Convention. Women travelled from 19 different European countries and Arialoka for the event. Many of the 55 Mitras and 16 Order members chose to camp in the field and a marquee was specially hired for the shrine room. The theme of the retreat was the five pillars of the FWBO, inspired by a talk delivered by Bante in 1991. Farah Badri, the Mitra convener for the LBC, led the event, adding a touch of her own magic to the theme with her talk, The Thousand Petal Stupa. A magnificent central shrine was created by Vara Badri in Karuna Chitta. The base was the mandala of the five jinnas, adorned with many rupas, images, candles and flowers. From the centre arose the top part of a stupa, surrounded by clouds. Vara Badri inspired everyone to imagine themselves surrounded by the vast blue sky of Shunyatar, thereby creating a ritual space. Women from each centre created large and colourful flags, symbolising the wide diversity that exists within the movement, and at the same time celebrating the essential unity of the Sangha. Three bodies of the Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> They're all in Bethlehem. <laughs> each flag was ritually offered up by women from each centre circumnambulating the shrine once, and sometimes by popular request more than once. <laughs> Other activities included a mask-making workshop led by Rosemary Denman from Arialoka. On the evening of the full moon, a special festive puja was held that included the salutation verse recited in four different languages English, Dutch, Finnish, and German. I pay homage to all the shrines. Low price and grüße ich alle Schreine. Flares were lit outside the marquee and the final mantras were recited while circumnambulating in the light of the full moon. On the final evening, Vara Badri led a procession around the grounds of Tara's realm to the magical sound of the drum, a fitting conclusion to this event.